Today I'll show you how I installed this receptacle for this Tesla wall charger. We are gonna come out of this panel. We gotta go up through this top plate and then we'll run straight across. We're gonna be running in one inch conduit and set that outlet right here. I don't have a knockout set with me. I've just got my big unit bit. So I have to get these wires out of the way so they're not rubbing on the drill or gonna short out when I drill through here. So now I'm gonna get this cardboard in there to catch the shavings so that they don't fall and burn through and short something out. Good with our fingers. This is it right here. Okay, connectors in. Now I'll just drill a hole up here and then I can shoot across there. So I got the connector in, the hole drilled. Now all I gotta do is figure out this distance. I may have to offset it a little bit, come up, and then I'm just gonna 90 straight over. I'll put braces in between, probably after I get done. One inch EMT, you gotta deduct eight inches. So 22 minus eight would be 14. I'm just gonna line that arrow up with that mark. And then I'm gonna bend this to 90 degrees. Now, if you don't keep enough foot pressure, you'll end up with a lot of wrinkles here. Another way to end up with wrinkles, like I did, is it's hot out and that sun's beating on this conduit, so it's swelled. Sometimes if you just put some WD-40 or something on there, it'll let that bender slip, but this is for a friend of mine. I don't really care. It'll be fine. You heard me say that deduction was 8 inches for the 90. What that means is the top of this conduit right here, where I measured to, is 22 inches from here to the top of this panel. This 90 takes up eight inches, which is well above average size. I mean, distance. The conduit is only 10 foot long, so I'm making sure that one stick, one 10 foot stick will get me from there all the way down at least into the wall. Okay, so I measured two 104. Before you saw me take eight inches off to deduct the 90. I'm gonna go to 104. I'm not deducting anything this time. And now because I measured from that way, these benders, you saw me use the arrow before. Now I'm gonna use the star and bend it this way. The last time I used the arrow and bent it up the direction that I was measuring from. Now I'm going the opposite direction with the star on the mark. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up there and then it'll tell me where I need to drill this hole. My measurements to always match so I'm just gonna measure to the center of this outlet they've got different depths depending on which box you're using the box I'm using is two and an eighth inch deep so I'm gonna bend it there and then that'll just go right up against the stud and I'll do that on both of them If you're going to be putting drywall or any finish on this wall i'll show you what you do then but you want this box to be flush with the studs so this box is 4 and 11 16 so instead of trying to hold it here and get a measurement i know that i can just measure to the center half of 4 and 11 16 would be 2 and 11 30 seconds so i can just deduct that off of this measurement right here i'm not tightening any of these couplings or connectors up because i just kind of want to see how it all goes together here first Okay. <clears throat> there we go. 
didn't go together very well. The reason for that is uh, you can kind of see this is angling out a little bit. So I just need to bend a little offset in this box. That's pretty good. <clears throat> All right, I had to rotate this box because there's only one hole in here. So I got a KO filler coming for that. Okay, conduits ran, everything's strapped on, strapped off. Now I can shove my fish, fish tape in and then I'll pull the wire. That's the key to making any head, is making your head part smaller than all the wires are bundled together. You know what I mean. All right. Now, since I'm by myself, I'm gonna go ahead and feed this up there. I didn't designate my neutral. I know this is red tape. You're only supposed to use white or gray for a neutral, but I'm about 35 minutes from a parts store. Needle knows a lot easier than I can my fingers back in there. This is that KO filler I was talking about. You just stick it up to the hole and shove it in there. Boom. And if you want it to be a little tighter than that, you can just take a screwdriver and bend these out and it stays in there good. I don't know about it. Damn, Damn it. it. Drop it down like six inches up top. Okay. Fuck you, dude. That's where you pan to the homeowner. <laughs> Derek likes the camera. I <laughs> should burn through those threads. This receptacle is not rated for EV charging. They actually make special receptacles just for that. It typically has like a little emblem of a car on it. But the reason this isn't is the homeowner is gonna switch over to a level two, like I said earlier. So we're gonna be taking this out here soon in the near future anyway. I'm just saying that for the video. We'll, we'll never take it out. Always make sure ground is up on these receptacles because if the ground is down, you end up like that, and nobody wants that. Plug it in, green is go. All right, that's a wrap on this car charger. Remember, be an electrician, leave your mess.